Hardly a day goes by that there isn't a Norse team in action, and we're here to cover it all. We'll take a look at this weekend's slugger of a softball series, the Horizon League Volleyball Championships, and more coming up next on the NKU Sports Break. Welcome to the NKU Sports Break. I'm your host, Carly Motzer. NKU Softball brought the energy home to Highland Heights this weekend. After splitting the first doubleheader on Friday, Saturday was where things really started to get exciting. With the bases loaded and two outs, a Cleveland State error on Josie Frazier's dribbler up the infield allowed Maddie Lacer to score to end the game with a 6-5 walk-off win. The Norse gave our heart rates a chance to recover with a comfortable 12-1 mercy rule win in the second game. With 12 runs, there's no shortage of things to talk about, but the highlight was a Maddie Lacer grand slam in the second inning, allowing her to finish with five RBIs and a run scored. The Norse look to keep the bats hot as they get back on the road for a four-game series this Friday and Saturday, April 2nd and 3rd at 3 and 2 p.m. on ESPN+. In a gut-wrenching five-set match, the number three Norse were defeated by the number two UIC Flames in the Horizon League Volleyball Championship semifinals. The Norse took the first two, but the Flames battled back for the win. Several Norse earned postseason awards and league recognition. For the second year in a row, Anna Brinkman made All Horizon League first team and was joined by first-timer Miranda Worcestershire. Ashton Terrell added to her postseason resume with her third All-League honor, joining the Horizon League second team for the second season in a row. Congratulations to the Lady Norse on another impressive season. NKU women's tennis split the weekend series against Milwaukee. The Norse claimed their first conference victory after a 6-1 win on Saturday, including a first place finish by Marhita Sunjik and Hannah Watton, as well as two 6-0 shutouts by Sylvia Gray. They'll have a break before hosting Oakland April 10th and 11th at 11 a.m. at the Linder Tennis Center at Lincoln. NKU Golf hosts the Jewel and the Julie at Lassing Point Golf Course in memory of former Norse golfer Andrew Jewel. Six schools will compete in this 36-hole event. Catch the live scoring for this par 72 course on Golfstat. Last week I said that it's NKU Soccer's world and we're just living in it and that couldn't be more true as both teams currently sit at the top of the Horizon League standings. After a COVID cancellation against Purdue Fort Wayne, the men's team heads to UIC Wednesday for their regular season finale. The Lady Norse recorded their third consecutive shutout at Purdue Fort Wayne. Kaya Vogt had the lone goal for the Norse 1-0 victory. The road trip continues this Wednesday against IUPUI. After a weekend of downtime, both men's and women's track and field are back in action this Friday and Saturday. The Norse head across the river for the Oliver Nikoloff Invitational at the University of Cincinnati. Norse fans, make sure to follow at NKU Norse on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook to ensure you never miss a final score or a schedule update. Thanks for watching the NKU Sports Break. We'll see you next time.